Hello everyone, it's travel day here and I'm heading out to the Gundy's this year because SHOT Show was canceled. Um, the Gundy's decided to host their own range day and award ceremony out in Texas at Drive Tanks. So this will be my second time at Drive Tanks and for those of you who aren't familiar, it's basically everything that I love wrapped up into one property. They've got animals, tanks, guns, fossils, literally everything. It's amazing place. Um, it's going to be really hard to convince me to come home, but it's going to be a blast and hopefully we'll be able to capture just a little piece of it to share with you. So my dad left a couple days ago. He is going to pick me up in San Antonio and I've got a flight to catch. See you there. Look at that tank, Dad. We made it. I would assume parking is over there where the parking people are. To the left, to the left. We made it to drive tanks. Gundy's range day, here we come. We were looking for coffee this morning, but literally every place that even looked like they had coffee was wrapped around the building because all of us need coffee, I suppose. But uh, didn't know Black Rifle Coffee was gonna be here. We are saved. So that guy right over there, straight out, that's a British chieftain. It's our biggest tank, our heaviest tank is 60 tons. It's more like a tortoise than anything else. It's not going anywhere fast. But I tell you what, it does a great job in a Toyota. That's all we use it for, and we smash cars, and it smashes the crap out of it. Over there, uh, right there, there's a Leopard 185, which y'all are gonna be driving a little later. Range transport.
edge of that uh, structure, and you're gonna go up about 45 degrees. Just right on the edge of it. So one of the main benefits we have is that if you're if you want to rock throw like a longer barrel or a shorter barrel or a cool barrel, whatever, you're able to uh, you know act. Enjoying your lunch? We're about to head up to the barn and get some pizza. But yours looks tasty too.
Professor, I'm the CEO of Drive Tank. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit more fun. We're gonna do the burn, uh, burn on the balloon glass right up here with our M9 Vietnam Air flamethrower. We got five gallons of fuel and a thousand psi of nitrogen. So enjoy. If you don't mind, we please and thank you. Please tag the Gundies. Please tag these guys and please tag Dry Tanks. It's really appreciated. Other than that, let's do it. Dummy just lost 20 pounds. Look at sweat. <laughs> he held up well though. He did. He did. It's all organic too. Hey, what's in the pot? It's all organic material. It doesn't have any garbage. At least that's what I'm told. The fuel. The fuel. Like Ben said. The fuel's not straight up way down. Here's the green gauge. Hey guys, we just wrapped up range day at the Gundy's and we're heading back to the hotel to get ready for tonight's ceremony. Just wanted to hop on and say thank you so much to everyone that voted for us. Um, hopefully we'll come home with most likely to survive an apocalypse. All right, the uh, next category is most likely to survive an apocalypse. The nominees are... Most likely to survive the apocalypse. Here are your top four nominees. Now, is that a set of fantastic nominees or what? Most Likely to sur Survive an Apocalypse is sponsored by Gallo Tech, and the winner is Black Scout Survival. He's unfortunately unable to be here tonight. But Well, everybody, I made it back from Drive Tanks, and as expected, the Gundies was an absolutely amazing event. Ben, Will, all y'all that helped put it together, you did an amazing job, and I can't wait to see what you're going to do next year. Um, as far as my travel day, it has been a pretty long day. I got up at four to catch my first flight and 
honestly guys, I don't remember going to sleep. So <laughs> thank God for caffeine and concealer. Um, I just wanted to say thank you again though to everybody that voted for me and most likely to survive an apocalypse and most influential female. I didn't take home any prizes, but totally fine. I had the trip of a lifetime and there's always next year. Plus I was up against some pretty incredible creators. So as far as content though, guys, um, I realized that me and my dad aren't that great at remembering to record everything. We get so caught up in just enjoying our time with people and seeing everybody that, um, yeah, we kind of forget. So I hope you enjoyed what we captured and I'm gonna add in some extra clips after this from my first trip out to drive tanks that I never shared.
My beard's warm now. The George Carlin <laughs> comment. Woo! <laughs> 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 I invented a fire sprinkler. <laughs> I want to set those people on fire. <laughs> I'm drunk enough to get close to it. Woo! <laughs> 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 Eric's, Eric, Eric's <laughs> fucked up. Uh, yeah, I think so. so. That was just Eric's breath. America! Hey, you're drunk. I was like, right here. Thanks, Now I have to repeat my video. It melted all my ice cubes.